Hello and welcome to a bite-sized Unity tutorial. Today we are going to take a look at playing sound in Unity just by pressing a key on your keyboard. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload. Feel free to leave a comment or drop a like. We also have a Patreon page where you can help be a part of this channel, and you'll find any scripts and assets there too. You can also join as a free member. Now, on with the tutorial. So, what do we want to do in this? Well, it's a great little feature where you can press a key on your keyboard and have a sound effect play. Uh, what I have here is just a scene. It's nothing special. It, it is just a scene. It's not relevant to what we're trying to do. It can be done in any scene. But what I have is four sound effects that I've preloaded into Unity. There's four little things here. And if you actually want these four sound effects, I'll leave a link in the description and in the pinned comment if you want to go and just download them. Why you'd want to, I'm not sure. They're just simple sound effects. Uh, Hi-hat, kick drum, snare, triangle. And all they are are just four empty game objects with the audio dragged on. And you can see that in this case, this one is the hi-hat. It's just dragged on there and it has play on awake ticked. Now, although we're playing a sound effect, we're not actually going to use any audio source. We're literally just going to use objects and we're going to do a really clever way of just being able to play a sound effect without using audio in a script. Uh, so same again with the others, kick drum, Make sure it's uh, play on awake, but make sure any sound effect objects are unticked up here. That means that whenever you press play, they don't play automatically. If you were to have them all on, they would just all play together as soon as you start your scene, which may be a little bit jarring, but I guess depending on your game, who knows. Uh, but there we go. So how do we do this? Well, let's create a C sharp script to do it. So let's uh, right click, create C sharp script, and we'll put Keyboard SFX. Obviously, SFX is short for sound effects. So, in the script, all we're going to do is declare a couple of variables and we're going to use the void update method. That's the one that's going to continually run in our scene and detect whenever we press anything on the keyboard. So, let's get rid of annotations and void start. So, what do we do first? Well, let's declare those variables. Let's say public. Game object, and we'll say hi hat as the first one, and then again for the second one. So public game object, and you can see it's trying to predict what it's going to be. It thinks because the first one's hi hat, the second one might be low hat. It's not predicting very well, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, so this one is going to be kick drum, and the next one public. Game hat drum. See what I mean with the prediction? It's sometimes it's quite funny. Whenever you're coding like this and you see hilarious little things that thinks it should be next whenever you're coding, they can be quite funny. Uh, so game object. Uh, this one is going to be the snare drum, semicolon. And the last one, public game object. And we'll have this as triangle semicolon. So what we've done there is just declare the four variables. So whenever we compile this script and go back into Unity, we just need to drag and drop these into the correct place. So the key feature to all this, how do we make it so as when we press, let's say, Z, X, C, and V, that they play the hi-hat, kick drum, snare drum, triangle? Real easy. All we're going to do is we're going to use an if statement. So if, and open bracket, we'll say, um input dot get key down and in brackets again we need to use a key code so we can say key code dot z close bracket close bracket open curly bracket so like i say the way we're going to do this is via game objects rather than sound effects it just makes it a little cooler in some ways because we can manipulate the actual objects. Especially if you're in a game that requires this a lot more, it gives you a lot more freedom to manipulate those actual game objects. So we can say hi hat dot set active, and it's already predicting that we're going to say false. And indeed, we are going to say false because the way this is going to work is that when we press Z or Z, it will turn the object off and then immediately turn it on again. So we can say hi hat 
dot set active and in brackets true semicolon and let's save that for now so like i say rather than use the audio source we can manipulate the objects and do this we turn it off even though it's already off but then immediately turn it back on again so the sound will play so yeah if we go back into unity um all we need to do is apply our script so game object create empty and let's apply that keyboard onto there and then let's declare our four variables so we've got hi-hat and then we've got kick drum and snare drum and then triangle and if we press play now let's test out if uh, z or z actually works for our hi-hat hopefully you should be able to hear this sound if not you have to take my word for it but here we go there we go perfect so now we just need to manipulate that code once again to reflect the rest. And instead of having to type everything out, we can just copy. So if we copy those there and paste just a couple of times, and we can say instead of Z, the next one along is going to be X, and then it's going to be C, and then it's going to be V. So the second one along is going to be kick drum. So we change hi-hat to kick, oh, not capitals, kick drum and same again below it so kick drum and the next one is snare drum and same again there and this will work for however many objects you actually have in your game you could have a hundred and you could technically do it i mean is there enough keys i don't think there is actually you could oh, we'll say 50 then we'll say 50 you could have 50 sound effects all set to different keys on your keyboard and it would still work this way would fundamentally work for anything so triangle there and let's save the script and then head back into unity when it finishes compiling sometimes unity takes a little bit of time to do things it's a bit sleepy uh, so back into unity we've already set our variables here so logically, we should be able to press play now and we should easily be able to play our sound effects. Are we ready? There we go. Easy. All together at once if you want. Excellent. So, like I say, you could expand that as much as you actually need to, and you would still end up with the same effect. So pressing a key is real easy. Uh, if you need to change keys on your keyboard, you can just do it. All you need to do is just change the key code. For example, if we want to change it to uh, HJKL, it's just a case of changing this to HJKL. So these key codes always reflect your actual keyboard. So I hope that has expanded your knowledge a little. And like I said, if you want these assets, in fact, if you want the assets or this script, I will put it in the description and in the pinned comment. So remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to see any tutorial that I upload. And I'll see you next time.